inflammatory bowel disease. This term is usually applied to two diseases, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. However, bowel inflammation may occur due to amoebic colitis, ileocecal TB, typhoid enteritis, bilharzial colitis. Um, what is the difference between uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis? First of all, uh, instance. Crohn's disease equal in male and female. And the commonest age incidence from 10 to 30 years old. While ulcerative colitis much more common in female and usually occur between 20 to 40 years. What's the etiology of Crohn's disease? <coughs> What's the etiology of Crohn's disease and the ulcerative colitis? Usually, it is said that the etiology is unknown in Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, but, but there is many evidence that both diseases are due to immunological deficiency, immunological abnormality, autoimmunity, abnormal immune reaction. Also, it uh, was found that uh, this disease may be occur in uh, the grandfather, father, and the son. Usually, this is due to genetic factor. Also, uh, there may be environmental factors. What is the pathology of uh, Crohn's disease? and the pathology of ulcerative colitis. First of all, the pathology of Crohn's disease. First of all, the site. Usually Crohn's disease occur in any part of the GIT, from mouse to anal canal, at any site. But the commonest site, the commonest site for Crohn's disease is the ileum. Therefore, in the past, this disease is called regional ileitis because about 90% of cases occur in the terminal ileum, followed by proximal colon, and usually is bearing the rectum, not affecting the rectum. In contrast, to ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis usually start in the area above the dentate line, in the alien canal, just above the dentate line, and extend upward to involve the rectum. Therefore, the common site is the rectum in ulcerative colitis and sigmoid colon, followed by the left colon and it may affect the whole colon and this is called ban colitis if affect the rectum only it is called proctitis therefore ulcerative colitis usually start just above the dentate line in the anal canal extend to the rectum sigmoid colon left colon and they may extend to whole colon but never affect the ileum. Um, Crohn's disease affects all layers of the affected segment, mucosa, submucosa, muscle layer, and serosa. And the inflammation involves the surrounding structures and involve the mesentery. 
it is a common society is the ileum which has a mesentery therefore the inflammation involves the mesentery and the mesentery in case of uh, Crohn's disease containing enlarged lymph nodes in contrast to ulcerative colitis ulcerative colitis affects the mucosa only the affected mucosa show granularity becomes granular or extend the pathology to become extensive ulceration therefore the pathology varying from just the granularity of the mucosa to extensive ulcers in case of ulcerative colitis it is a famous feature for Crohn's disease is presence of skip areas what is the skip areas normal healthy gut in between the affected segment this is disease segment and this is disease segment separated by normal healthy colon this is a diseased segment and this is a disease segment separated by completely healthy colon these normal healthy areas are called the skip areas in contrast to ulcerative colitis ulcerative which is a continuous disease without any skip areas and there is a sharp transition between the diseased area and the healthy area um, <coughs> Crohn's disease Crohn's disease is characterized by formation of granuloma what is granuloma? granuloma is collection of inflammatory cells and this granuloma followed by severe market fibrosis and this severe market fibrosis leading to sickening and the narrowing of the affected part of the gut in long standing cases in Crohn's disease there are multiple linear fissures multiple linear fissures in the mucosa in between the mucosa is elevated and edematous this is Crohn's disease there are many fissures and between the fissures the mucosa is edematous and elevated gives the same picture of this what is this this is called the cobblestone appearance cobblestone appearance this is a feature for Crohn's disease in long-standing cases in contrast to ulcerative colitis the ulcerative colitis this is the normal crypts of the mucosa of the gut ulcerative colitis always begin as multiple crypt ulcers sorry multiple crypt abscesses surrounded by inflammation crypt abscesses surrounded by inflammation these abscesses fuse together to form superficial ulcers and in long standing cases in ulcerative colitis pseudopolyps occur what is the pseudopolyps this why these are pseudo because pathologically any polyp is formed of a core of fibrous tissue covered by many layers of epithelial cells this is a true polyp but this is not a true polyp because there is no central core of fibrous tissue 
these uh, pseudobolyp are only edema in the mucosa. Therefore, just edema of the mucosa leading to formation of pseudobolyps. And in uh, ulcer colitis, ulcers are superficial, affecting the mucosa only, leading to minimal fibrosis without thickening of the wool. This is the pathology of Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis. What is the complications? Complications of uh, Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis. Crohn's disease is characterized by extensive fibrosis and fibrosis leading to narrowing, leading to narrowing and the thickening of the wall of the affected segment. This narrowing leading to structure in the intestine ensure structure in the intestine leading to intestinal obstruction. Also, abscess. Multiple abscesses around the affected segment, which rupture, and this rupture of the abscess leading to fistula formation. Fistula formation between the loops of uh, intestine, or between the loops of intestine and the urinary bladder or vagina in female or maybe fistula to outside with the skin. Crohn's disease is very common affecting the anal canal. Ulceration in the anal canal leading to anal fissure. Abscess and rupture of the abscess leading to very anal fistula. This is common in Crohn's disease, while rare in ulcerative colitis. Um, the terminal ileum is the commonest site. The terminal ileum play an important role in absorption. And the affection of a long segment of terminal ileum leading to malabsorption syndrome. And the malabsorption syndrome sure leading to weight loss, weakness, etc. All these complications in Crohn's disease are intestinal complications. There are extra intestinal systemic complications. And these uh, complications occur in Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis. And all these extra Intestinal manifestation are manifestation of abnormal immune reaction. In Crohn's disease and ulcer colitis, there is abnormal immune reaction in the gut only. No, the abnormal immune reaction may affect the eye, leading to uveitis, inflammations in the eye, leading to arthritis cholangitis, liver cirrhosis, skin lesions, skin lesions like erysema nodosum and bioderma gangrenosum. What is this? These are skin manifestations skin manifestations which may occur with Crohn's disease or ulcer colitis due to abnormal immune reaction. This is called the erysema nodosum, formation of nodule with hybremia. Therefore, it's called erythema nodosum, nodule with redness of the skin or the very dangerous bioderma gangrenosum. This is affection of the skin with ulceration and some sort of gangrene in the skin and the subcutaneous tissue called bioderma gangrenosum. 
Um, there are four uh, in severe cases of Crohn disease or ulcer arthritis. All these extra intestinal manifestation may occur. Uveitis, inflammation in the iris, and the eye, arthritis, cholangitis, liver cirrhosis, skin lesions like <coughs> bioderma gangrenosum and the erythema nodosum. These are the complications of Crohn's disease. What is the complication of ulcerative colitis? The most dangerous complication in ulcerative colitis, which may be fatal, if severe inflammation in the core leading to failure of neuromuscular transmission in the colon failure of neuromuscular transmission in the colon leading to atony of the colon atony of the colon leading to severe distension of the colon with severe toxic manifestation which may be fetal this is called the toxic megacolon atony of the colon and the huge distension of the colon this is mega colon due to the toxic effect toxic effect and on the colon leading to toxic mega colon in case of ulcerative colitis one of the main manifestations of ulcerative colitis is severe bleeding repair rectum during severe attack of bleeding rectum this is hemorrhage which may lead to hypovolemic shock and in chronic cases loss of blood daily leading to anemia we take uh, before uh, this uh, subject in uh, the playlist of uh, GIT tumor colorectal carcinoma and in colorectal carcinoma we said that ulcerative colitis is precancerous condition special if there is ban colitis affection of whole colon for more than 10 years and in this patient with bad colitis affection of whole colon for more than 10 years the tumor may be multicentric also extra intestinal complication like Crohn's disease occur in ulcerative colitis um, this is enough in this video we will continue in the next video thank you for good listening and good luck